Our London correspondent Jonathan Sashadati joining us. Good evening. Good evening. A bitter and ugly campaign goes one giant step further today. What have we heard so far from David Cameron? Well, David Cameron's just spoken. He's cancelled a planned rally in Gibraltar as part of his campaigning for the EU referendum. And he said that this was an absolutely tragic and dreadful event, that she was a great campaigning MP with a huge compassion and a big heart. And he talked about this being dreadful, dreadful news, saying it's right that the country is now suspending campaign on both sides for the referendum, simply repeating that she was a very strong campaigning MP who he said was a star and would be missed by all in the House of Commons. Jonathan, any sense of how long that suspension is going to continue? At this stage, there just hasn't been any mention of how long that could be. And the rumor that the attacker shouted Britain first before shooting and then kicking and assaulting her uh, as she lay dying on the road uh, has only caused people to nail this as a, an attack motivated by somebody who wishes uh, to leave the EU. Uh, this has meant that, of course, this has become even more toxic a debate in the country at the moment, as we are just one week away from that referendum when the British people will decide whether or not they want to remain within the European Union. At this stage in the wave of reactions that we're seeing from the political spectrum and the people of Britain, is there a sense that there's already a conversation happening about the implications of this for that vote coming up in just a week, as you say? Well, so far, most of the tributes and comments being made are simply about her, a mother as well, uh, who was also a campaigner for Syrian refugees and had worked at Oxfam before she became an MP in the last general election. The other discussions that are now taking place about the security of members of parliament in general, who, when they're on the Westminster compound in the House of Commons, are relatively safe and protected by the police. But a cornerstone of the British democracy is the idea that these people do meet their constituents. Uh, they represent a specific area and this is something which has of course opened them up to this kind of attack she was attacked as she was approaching her local office to meet members of her constituency something which now will be looked at as a security risk this is obviously a, uh, an MP shot and killed in broad daylight has brought this campaign has brought the atmosphere in the UK to a whole new space is it reflective though of a certain ugliness a certain level of bitterness that has come to define this campaign over leaving or not leaving the european union the campaign has of course been bitter and sometimes personal on the political level with different members of parliament and proponents of either side attacking one another quite personally but of course this has taken it to another level where there's a physical attack costing somebody's life potentially linked to that referendum debate in the meantime, the country is still going to the polls in one week, and the arguments, whether they are personal or vicious and political, or whether they're economic or to do with migration, have started to swing towards the Leave camp, with the polls showing that most Britons now wish to leave, and that's something which people will want to campaign against on the Remain side before the vote comes next week. Jonathan Sashadadi in London, thanks very much for this. Again, a British Member of Parliament shot and killed in broad daylight today.